Winter Opera St. Louis just opened its ninth season with Gilbert and Sullivan, but not with one of the usual suspects. Instead, the company mounted Yeoman of the Guard, a late work with a more serious libretto from Gilbert than usual. Sullivan's score sounded terrific in the Winter Opera production. It was welcomed enthusiastically by the sizable audience at the matinee I attended. The action takes place in the mid-16th century in the Tower of London, which was guarded by the yeoman of the title. The, play is dri the plot is driven by the impending execution of Colonel Fairfax, who has been convicted of sorcery on a charge brought by a villainous relative who stands to inherit Fairfax's estate if the colonel dies unmarried. To forestall this possibility, a friend of Fairfax's recruits a young woman to marry him for what remains of his life in exchange for a bounty of a hundred crowns. This bride-to-be is the beautiful Elsie Maynard, one half of, half of a troop of itinerant players. Her partner is Jack Point. Meanwhile, an escape plan for Fairfax is hatched by his friend, Sergeant Merrill of the Yeoman and Merrill's children. His son Leonard, who is about to take up a position in the guard, and his daughter Phoebe, who is in love with Fairfax. After much ado, things work out very well for Fairfax and Elsie, not so well for Merrill and Phoebe. The not-so-happy ending for Merrill's helpers left me cold, and I miss the typical social satire of Gilbert and Sullivan, which is funny even if you don't know precisely which British institutions are being sent up. The script isn't well suited to the kind of spirited comic staging we saw in last season's wonderful Marriage of Figaro at Winter Opera, also directed by John Stevens. It took a while for the staging of Yeoman to draw me in, but I did find the second act more involving than the first. I was thoroughly delighted with the music, however, as performed by the orchestra under Scott Schoonover, the chorus directed by Nancy Mayo, and a cast of fine singers. Clark Sturtevant as Fairfax, Eileen Vanessa Rodriguez as Elsie, Amy Maud Helfer as Phoebe, James Harrington as Sergeant Merrill, Andy Pappas as Jack Point, Adrian Rosas as the Tower Lieutenant, Charmé Musaccio as Dame Carruthers, Gary Moss as the Jailer, and Zach Devon as Leonard. The set was by Kira Bishop, the costumes by J.C. Krajicek, the lighting by Sean Savoy, and the props by Christine St. Jim. Not my favorite Gilbert and Sullivan, but I'm glad Winter Opera gave me a chance to see it. Yeah, I quite agree with you. Uh, probably the only opportunity we're likely to have to see it, and certainly not their best, but as you say, Sullivan's score is quite enjoyable, so let's hear some of it, shall we? <laughs> 